welcome to the United Arab Emirates, where, as you can see, it takes quite a lot to stand out on the car front. Out here, your Commodore Garden, Ferrari or Lamborghini can no longer cut the mustard. So what do you do if you want to turn heads? Well, I think I may have the answer. You see, everyone thinks about blinging their wheels, but nobody ever thinks of adding more wheels. This is the new six-wheeled version of Mercedes's iconic G-Wagon. And beside the extra wheels, it also ticks the rarity box because it's one of only two in existence. More will be built, though I suspect not many when you consider the price, which is a trouser-troubling £370,000. The six-wheel G-Class was originally built for the Australian Army, who demanded standard equipment like seats and doors. In this civilian version, however, you get heated and ventilated electric leather chairs, a leather-trimmed dashboard, and a bamboo-lined cargo bay. You really do get a lot of car for your money, as in a lot of car. I mean, look at it. It's nearly a metre longer than a Range Rover, and it's got 37-inch wheels. I reckon I could get my head in the gap between the wheel and the wheel arch. Yeah, I can. Try doing that in a Range Rover. <laughs> The 6x6 also weighs three and three-quarter tonnes, or the same as three VW Golfs. So, engine-wise, it can't afford to mess about. It's actually got a five-and-a-half-litre, 536-horsepower twin-turbo V8 from Mercedes in has Nutterists AMG. Oh, we're getting a move on. 160 pounds feet of torque. Door to 60 in under six seconds. That's sports car stuff in something the size of a shopping centre. Fuel economy? Well, I doubt this will be the official transport at the next Greenpeace annual conference. All I'll say is they thought it best to fit two fuel tanks. You change over using this switch up here. Everybody loves an overhead switch. If I drove this down Ross on White High Street, I would be Lord of all I survey. The undisputed king of Herefordshire. Never mind Herefordshire. This thing attracts attention even round here. Seriously? <coughs> really? <coughs> yeah, he's serious. As it turned out, the policeman had never seen such an unusual car before. There's six wheels. And guess what? It's the same on the other side. And was on his way again after he'd had a look. Bye. Lamborghini Aventador police car. They don't have those in ross on Y. All these. Ferrari FF. SLS. MG. What a funny day. Now, although the 6x6 is seriously quick on tarmac and turns policemen's heads, where it's really built to shine is as an off-roader. Let me give you an example. A Land Rover Defender can wade through half a metre of water, and that's very good. This can wade through twice that. However, this being the desert, water is quite hard to find. So if you want to test it, you do have to improvise. Morning, sorry. Sorry. This is, unless I'm very much mistaken, a metre of water. And the 6x6 is wading through it. 
even dealing with the rubber rings. Yeah, not having any difficulty with this at all. But how does it cope with sand? Well, the good news is, sand is one thing we're really not short of. Welcome to the Empty Quarter. The largest sand desert in the world, covering some 250,000 square miles. Out here, temperatures hit 50 degrees centigrade, and there are dunes more than 800 feet high. OK, we have six-wheel drive with a power split 30-40-30 across the axles. Check. Stronger front springs from the armoured version of the G-Class. Check. Locking diffs. Oh, we've got those. The most you'd expect normally would be three. On here, five. And you lock them using these buttons in different ways. Right, let's go. These are big, big dunes. This is more of a sand mountain I'm on right now. Three and three quarter tons of Mercedes is doing this. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> This extra axle, these two extra wheels, it changes the way the 6x6 travels over the ground. It undulates, it feels supple. It's like blasting through the desert dunes, riding a sinew. <laughs> Come on. I got some air. Sorry, everybody. Intoxicated by what the Merc could do, I drove deeper and deeper into the empty quarter. All right, where does it go now? Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, for crying out loud. I wouldn't ski down there. Okay. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Over the top, over the top. Oh, oh very unpleasant. Not nice. <laughs> it's vertical. I'm in a car, I'm having a plane crash. I'm still going down! Oh, what a stupid place. I hate it. Ahead, I saw a nice, flat desert floor and decided that was a much safer place to be. <laughs> it's drifting! Now it's a rally car! A gigantic rally car! I'm not having to shout over this. It's not rah in here. I'm still cocooned in luxury. It's an amazing device. Now, when you take an off-roader across sand, the standard practice, as I've done, is to let some air out of the tires to give them a bigger footprint. Now I'm going back on tarmac, so I need to reinflate them. All I've got to do is operate these overhead switches. Feel like a jet pilot. Compress it on. Going up. And they can reinflate all of these tires in under a minute. Oh, I love this. If I did this in Ledbury, I'd be mobbed by now. Leaving the empty quarter behind, I headed back towards civilization. I'm not going to pretend this is anything less than a 
preposterous machine. It's a six meter, three and three quarter ton, 370,000 pound, six wheel dinosaur. But as dinosaurs go, it is a magnificent, magnificent to behold, magnificently made. It's one of the car world's mad moments, a day off from Priuses and Leafs. Even in a country as chock full of showy off cars as this one, it's still really rather special. You can forget your chrome wraps and whatever. I don't think you can beat just having more wheels than anything else. And I can say with absolute confidence that I have more wheels than any of... Oh. No matter. One thing I can say for sure is that this is the most extreme Mercedes out here. I doubt there's anything with the Mercedes badge in these parts that can draw as much attention as that. All right, so I don't have the most wheels. It's not the most extreme Mercedes out here, but the 6x6 does have size on its side. Bigger than any Range Rover, bigger than any Land Cruiser, bigger than that old Jeep up there. And that's the thing. A car can be beautiful, but when it's big, it's got presence, and they don't come much bigger than... Oh, my God. I want this one. 